Yesterday, I made a video talking about the brand new feature in Pokemon Go, which is of course routes. This was something that I hyped up as the next big thing for Pokemon Go, but unfortunately, it was an unmitigated disaster. There is a lot of player confusion and a lot of bugs and glitches related to routes, and I really feel like Niantic dropped the ball here. That's what this video is going to be all about, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Yo, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. Alright, let's discuss routes because I feel like the launch of this new feature was a complete mess and there's just a lot of things that Niantic did wrong. First and foremost, this feature was meant to be the next big thing for Pokemon Go. It was a new feature that would allow you to do some exploring and get rewards for it, and it was supposed to be 100% user generated, which added a new element to Pokemon Go that we haven't seen. And unfortunately, the launch of this feature did not go well. So what am I talking about here? Well, first and foremost, routes was something that a lot of players perceived would be really good for Pokemon Go, and I still think it can be. but. Unfortunately, it was met with a lot of bugs and a lot of glitches, and it seems like not a lot of routes have already been generated. So, I really feel like this is a head-scratching move for Niantic in that they released routes without adding a lot of the beta-tested routes that were made. And yeah, because of that, there's not a lot of routes out there. I've heard a lot of players in a lot of communities complain that there's just no routes in their area. So any feature that involves routes, like anything that they wanted to try out, they were not able to do so because there were no routes in any of their areas, and I really feel like this was a huge misstep from Niantic. Like, they did a beta test for route creation a couple of weeks ago, and I really thought they would use those routes in order to populate every area with different routes that players can utilize right away, but it turns out that wasn't necessarily the case. Yes, I have heard reports of some pre-built routes being in people's areas, but in general, there's just no routes for players to enjoy in almost every area. So, naturally, players would want to create routes in order to populate their areas with this new feature, but unfortunately, as it turns out, not a lot of players are actually able to create routes themselves. Like, there was no mention of this being a slow rollout, but it looks like that's what it ended up being. If there are no routes for players to enjoy, and if people can't create routes, then I feel like that is a disastrous launch. Because, yeah, this was supposed to be hyped up as the next big thing for Pokemon Go. It was something for you to do to explore outdoors and get rewarded for it, but it seems like that's just something that not a lot of players can do to begin with. Now, let's say you are one of the few players who are able to create a route. Well, your experience when it comes to creating routes is also going to be really negative. A lot of players were reporting that there was a plethora of crashes and glitches when it comes to creating routes, and I really feel like this is a huge mess. Like, what was the point of doing all that beta testing if there was going to be this many bugs at launch? Like. I really felt like the system that they had in place during that beta test was actually pretty good, and I actually thought it worked really well, but upon launch, it actually felt like it was downgraded quite a lot. Just by my own experiences, I tried to recreate some of the routes that I made during the beta test, and the route was not tracing well at all. In fact, it was incredibly janky. Instead of the path being traced underneath my avatar like how it was during the beta test, it seemed like the path was just snapping into place in other areas, and it was just creating this giant zigzag that was not accurate to the path at all. So, you know, I think at one point, like, one of the paths actually led you into a river. Like, that's how bad it is. Niantic, I really do not understand why you released this feature if it wasn't ready for the public. Like, I understand that there's deadlines that you have to meet, especially if you plan to integrate routes into Pokemon Go Fest, but I just felt like this whole entire system needed a lot more polish and a lot more testing, because as of right now, it's incredibly buggy creating routes, and I really feel like that's completely on Niantic. I literally tried everything to create an accurate route. Like, I turned off Adventure Sync, I turned off every other app on my phone. Like, I really do not know what the case is. I feel like it's something related to the internal path building system. Like, the AI is just really wonky and it's just creating a lot of these inaccurate paths. And I really feel like because of this, we're not gonna have really good, decent paths for players to walk on once these get approved, if they get approved. And yeah, as of right now, this feature is dead in the water because there's just no routes for players to actually walk. And because of that, I really feel like Niantic needs to expedite the fixing of this feature because if this feature remains the same as it is when we get to Pokemon
Pokemon Go Fest, no one is essentially going to care about it. Like, no one is going to focus on routes at any point in their Pokemon Go play, mainly because of how buggy it is and how much it launched in a disastrous state. Like with everything that they add to Pokemon Go, it's all about first impressions. And unfortunately, the first impression that the Pokemon Go community has gotten when it comes to routes is really negative. So unfortunately, I don't think this feature is going to live up to its potential because as of right now, a lot of players are completely dismissing it. And yeah. One more issue that I have with routes that a lot of players are sharing is of course in relations to Zygarde. Since you need Zygarde cells in order to upgrade your Zygarde into a much more powerful form, you need to do a lot of routes. And it turns out Zygarde cells are non-existent for a lot of players. I mean, don't get me wrong. I thought it was an interesting idea to integrate this legendary Pokemon into routes and actually make you feel rewarded for completing a whole bunch of them. But as of right now, because of the lack of routes in everyone's area and the fact that Zygarde cells are not even frequent, it's going to make a lot of players incredibly frustrated and make this thing feel like a grind. So yeah, Niantic has completely dropped the ball when it comes to routes. This was meant to be something really good for Pokemon Go, and I was really excited for it. But after 24 hours, I feel incredibly disappointed. So I really hope Niantic gets their act together and fixes this feature because I really do think it has the potential to add to Pokemon Go's longevity. But as of right now, it's not going to be doing that. But in any case, that's going to be it for this video. I just want to share some of my thoughts and some of the community's thoughts regarding this feature. What do you think about routes? Are you very disappointed or is this something that you feel is overblown? Definitely share why in the comments down below and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And as always, I want to give a shout out to my patrons on Patreon. All of you make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Insula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.